Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel family. You already know what time it is. Gang gang, be in this thing. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button to be a part of the crew. Smash that like button to see what it do. So let's get into this reading for you. This is going to be for my Scorpios. Let's see what the energy is like. What advice I can give y'all for today. Hold up. Let me get this shuffled up. So we can see what y'all got going on. I should have had this together. Should have had this together. All right, so Scorpios, you guys have the contract card. This one's in reverse. Okay, so now's the time to where you're not gonna be wanting to commit yourself to sitting back just dealing with sexual relationships. So you're not gonna want to be in a situation to where you have to deal with like a friends with benefits type of situation. With the fifth shock Archangel Gabriel, right now it's gonna be a time to where you're gonna be very genuine and upfront. And with the man holding the heart, you already done been through these situations to where you done sat back and dealt with um, having or dealt with liking somebody because this could also be one of those things to where you end up liking somebody and then they end up sitting back showing that they like you but it's only because of the fact of they want or they have some sort of sexual intentions geared towards you. So now it's going to be a time to where you want to make sure that the relationships that you get into are genuine. There's like something that you guys are going to be striving towards. You're getting into a relationship with a purpose. You know what I'm saying? All that. All right. Also, we have the envy card. This one's in reverse. So things might be a little bit confusing because sometimes you have a tendency to have hidden jealousy. All right. And um, with the door to personal healing and happiness, you like to focus on your internal happiness. So right now, it's going to be a time to where you're going to be focused on your internal happiness. But at the same time, things can be confusing because you do have a little bit of jealousy that you'll be dealing with. So this could be in terms of you being interested in somebody or if you're in a relationship, you might be dealing with those emotions. And for Scorpios, they don't like to put it out there. Sometimes they hide it. And you guys will have situations to where you guys won't express it because you don't want to look vulnerable or weak. Okay, also we have adjacent possibilities. This one's in reverse, okay? Letting us know that whenever it comes down to it, you guys have a lot of feelings here for someone with the magician in the mirror. So you feel like you made a good choice whenever it comes to emotional wise because with the adjacent possibilities, you don't have to worry about anything whenever it comes to who it is that you're dealing with. But this deceit card is in reverse. So sometimes you be thinking that that person be doing things on the low to make you jealous or that they just be doing shit or they have hidden intentions. So sometimes you be sitting back thinking that this person has hidden intentions, but overall you feel comfortable, especially with the goddess of the moon, the magician, the mirror, you feel comfortable in terms of being with them. <clears throat> and then also we have a door to value. So now it's going to be a time to wear. Whenever it comes to financial wise, you're going to see things look up. Also with the door to value, you're going to see somebody giving you a lot of support in terms of your relationship. <clears throat> so whoever it is that you're dealing with, going to be giving you a lot of support. And with the community card, this one being in reverse, now's the time to where you're not going to be indulging into too many friendships. With the guard and the gate card, you're not scared to put yourself out there in terms of trying to acquire friendships, but it's not something that you like to do. Also, with the walking away card, somebody's still hanging on to you in terms of having feelings. And with the yin and yang, they've been talking about you. So this person's either been talking about you or they've been on social media expressing the feelings that they have for you. But with the attachment card being in reverse, you're very detached from this person. So your new relationship things is good. You just have situations to where you sit back and sometimes you have hidden jealousy that this person might not know about. Or um, sometimes you be thinking that they be doing stuff or having hidden motives behind getting with you in terms of a relationship. But at the same time, you also have somebody else that's attached to you that um, has feelings for you too. And you had to let that person go. So whoever this is during this time, you're going to find yourself blocking them, not communicating with them, not wanting to be bothered. And we have the action card. So right now, you're going to be taking action towards making sure that you avoid any type of arguments or any type of situations with this individual. So you're going to be sitting back doing your own thing, basically.
and then we also had a broken heart card this one's in reverse so in order for you not to feel stressed out you let go of any feelings or anything that you had whenever it came to dealing with that person because it's less stressful that way so with that past person you don't let all the, everything go you're not connected to them in any way but we also have the door to spirit. That one's in reverse. Letting us know that now, just like I said, that's confirmation. You're not connected to this person in any type of way. But we have financial constraints. So now's the time to where you're going to be opening your heart up. And then also with the financial constraints, you're going to be working on making your financial situation better. So now's the time to where you might be a little bit vulnerable. You might be very open whenever it comes to the person that you share your energy with in your current relationship. So you might be opening up and doing things that you couldn't do in past relationships right now. And sometimes with Scorpios, it might feel like, um, it might feel very weird because Scorpios don't like to open up too much whenever it comes to like their feelings and emotions. But if they, it, it has to be situations where they feel very comfortable, real comfortable with who it is that they're with. So right now it's going to be a time to where with the world is going to be working against you in order to help you, or well, not even to help you. The world's going to be working against you whenever it comes to the energy with this cornucopia card being in reverse. So you might have some days to where, and it just, you could just feel it to where you could just feel that feeling. Yeah, especially because I flung this card at me. So yeah, you have days to where you could just feel it to where the energy is just off and like certain individuals just be working their energy against you. And with the woman holding heart, this one's in reverse. That's confirmation that there's individuals that don't love you and that don't like you in terms of the way that they see you so they're going to be working against you with the cornucopia card being in reverse so this could be situations where just off the bat because it could be hard for scorpios to make friends so just off the bat a person will look at you and already judge the fact of you to this you to that and then already disconnect themselves before they even communicate with you so they already prejudge you before they even talk to you. And we have the Karen Connection card. This one's in reverse. So right now it's going to be a time to where you're going to be trying to work on showing that you care a little bit more. Because you already know with the Karen Connection card that will be in reverse. Sometimes you have a tendency to not care about other individuals in terms of their feelings. So this is something that you're working on with that strategy card being upright. So you're working on showing your current relationship that you care for that person. We're trying to show this person more caring energy. And then also we have the storm warning. Letting us know that now it's going to be a time to where if you don't do that, there could be drama whenever it comes to the support that you provide this person. So sometimes this person could be a little bit dramatic whenever it comes to or over the top whenever it comes to how they want to be supported in love. So it's like you already know that this person requires a lot whenever it comes to love and support and you're willing to give it to them. But at the same time, you know that sometimes this person could be a little bit overdramatic in terms of their feelings. So it's like one of those things that in order to mellow them out, you have to give them what they uh, want in terms of relationship-wise. So that way you can avoid, avoid any arguments or chaotic situations. And with the Seven Shock Archangel Uriel, right now it's going to be a time to where you're being wise about where it is or who it is that you give your energy to with the man holding the coin in reverse. So you're being smart about who it is that you give your energy to because with the victory card, that one being in reverse, somebody from your past wants that energy. Somebody from your past wants you to care for them. And with the Blossom Abundance, yeah, somebody in your past wants things to work between the two of y'all. Alright, so hopefully this helps y'all out for today. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.